Hi, class of 2020. This is Dr. Cunningham. Congratulations on getting this far in your program, and I am so excited to work with you this session. This is my favorite course to teach, don't tell my other students, uh, because I get to help you achieve your own goals for what it was you came to the program in the first place. So uh, no pressure, but uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but seriously, this is a very fun part of uh, what you'll be doing. I know some of you might feel intimidated, uh, some of you might be excited, nervous, all kinds of things, uh, but just know that I am here to help you on this journey. And I tell students uh, at the first class of the, of the session um, or the first class of the program, trust the process. So one of the things about the capstone is it is a process. If you knew how to do a capstone, we wouldn't require it, right? So it's a learn by doing thing. So there might be times where you're unsure of what it is that you're supposed to be doing or uh, you're not quite sure what it is your main research question is or what even your project is about until you start going through it. So I know all of you have an idea from 601 and I know you'll be posting your initial proposals this week by Thursday and I will be able to give you some feedback but just know that uh, that topic might change or evolve. It could be that it was too big of a topic and I'll provide you with some feedback on how to make it more manageable. Uh, or you might hate the topic that you had in 601. I've had that happen a lot of times and uh, so you might need to pivot what it is you want to do. All kinds of things happen. Uh, but again, it's a process and it's a, a challenge for a reason. By the end of this, you will feel uh, that you earned your Connell degree. So that is pretty exciting. So just a couple things. I know many of you, but those who don't know me, I am just uh, finishing up my 10th year at Gonzaga here. So that's exciting. And um, these are my kids behind me. I was practicing this earlier. Oh, no, this one. So this one is Jack and that one is Scarlett. And um, they look very different. This was last fall before the pandemic and everything. And my son Jack just looks so grown up right now. Uh, my daughter still has her little spiky mohawk hair that she does, which she's, she's kind of trippy about that. But, um, you know, I guess the one thing I wanted to point out is that we're all... Uh, on this journey. So, you know, it's been a challenge uh, for me, I know for you too, uh, for your families, just dealing with this pandemic and what it means for our new reality. So um, just know that I'm here to help you along the way and uh, know that we are here to help support your success. That's what we want. And I was saying this in my video for my other class today, uh, Gonzaga education is not just about the degree, right? It's about the process and it's also about you and forming you as um, the kind of person you want to be. So we have this concept of cura personalis, uh, care for the whole person. So we see you as not just an academic student, but also we want to nurture your body and um, mind, which is the student part, and uh, also your spirit, however you might define that. So uh, that is really what my own teaching philosophy is. So uh, that's what I do. And that's what I've been doing here for 10 years. So that's been pretty fun. Um, let's see, just a couple things. I am setting up some optional office hours on Thursday from uh, 415 to 5 uh, and I'll send the Zoom invite to you and you can join. I'll try to record. I always forget but I will try this time. Um, so you can make it available for those who, who can't make it. Uh, feel free to drop in at any time during those 45 minutes but um, uh, it's just an opportunity to get to know each other, also any questions you might have. There's also the question forum on the discussion board so you can ask questions there, uh, that's actually great because then we can learn from each other. So if you have a question, probably other people have a question. And, uh, uh, but if it's more personal, uh, and then definitely reach out to me and we can set an appointment and talk or I can we can chat via email or whatever. 
So great. Um, I know some of you might be participating in the graduation ceremony this weekend. Some of you will maybe be at the Honor Society induction. Uh, so I'm hoping to see and celebrate with you there. Others of you might have chosen to do graduation after uh, this semester. So whatever you choose is great. Uh, and um, we will be uh, going through this together. So so just have a chance to post your initial proposal so I can provide feedback, uh, post your, your intro post, and start familiarizing yourself with the deadlines that are coming up for you. So the way that the course is laid out is uh, we have deadlines uh, to help move you through the process, although of course there are times that you might um, submit early. Or, or not, um, or late. So, uh, but, if, but uh, just know that it takes me about a week to respond to your work. So if you are more than a week late for submitting something, that means that you're more than a week behind. Uh, and that can really impact your ability to complete on time. So um, again, it'll become more clear, things happen along the way, but, uh, you know, hopefully it's laid out for you pretty, pretty much what the expectations are. Looking forward to hearing all about your projects or your uh, thesis ideas. Uh, that's my, again, I said it's my favorite part mostly because I learned so much from you. So there's so many topics that, um, you know, I, I've never even thought of before. So that part is really great. And then I get to just kind of nudge you along the way, um, ask you questions, uh, refine uh, your thoughts, uh, help with your writing process. All those things are, are what this is going to be about. Okay, I am going to stop talking and uh, looking forward to seeing you on Blackboard. All right.